This is a Suzuki quad runner cylinder head that has had a couple of the uh, bolts sheared off that held the uh, cam chain tensioner on and so this video is about me mounting that to an angle plate in the milling machine and starting the procedure to uh, remove those bolts. So I dialed in the um, face of this uh, flange uh, with a dial indicator and uh, then went ahead and located the uh, centre hole using an edge finder. Um, not the ideal way to find the centre of a hole but uh, it seemed to work out pretty well. Uh, just showing an example there of dipping the edge finder into the hole. Uh, I uh, took a bit longer than what the video shows here to uh, find that location. And then was in a position to uh, move across to the first hole, 17 millimeters off the center there. I'm going to use the knee to uh, start that operation. This is the bad one with the broken edge. So after a uh, couple of dabs into the hole and a few bits of swarf spiralling out of the hole uh, it was time to give the cutter a little bit of a clean and I didn't have a brush on hand so I dabbed at it with my finger and then stupidly picked up a rag thinking I'd be able to get clear there to the uh, inevitable result so that needed a complete reset. So from there on in, I took my time dabbing away at the uh, head of the screw in the hole, uh, slowly removing maybe a millimetre at a time before clearing the hole. Video doesn't show that I moved the moved the uh, tool you know, 150 millimetres away from the. Uh, hole so that I could have a good look inside it. It seemed to be going well. I, I actually lost that bit of video. It didn't show much anyway. But eventually I was ploughing in there a reasonable amount each time and uh, by making this hole deeper uh, meant that uh, it could be tapped through past the uh, damaged section and a longer screw used uh, that uh, went right through to the uh, other end of the hole and, and completely removed the, uh, because this is a through hole, the other one's not, it, it removed the screw completely. The tip of the screw just fell out the bottom then, so that's far enough. So then I needed to index across to the other side, total of 34 millimetres, 17 millimetres each side of centre, and start the process so again. This other one, they're 34 millimetres apart, I hope. I'm using uh, a Bridgeport style mill, it's actually a King Rich brand, which is a brand sold in Australia. Uh, and it's got a CNC conversion on it that I did myself using uh, Mac 3 control. So indexing across 34 millimeters 
was really just typing a line on the MBF on the MBI uh, to uh, do a rapid movement in the y direction 34 millimeters um, I wasn't I haven't been winding any hand handles except on the knee in this process listen for the crunch as I break the end there. So I broke an end mill and um, hopefully got any pieces out of the hole. So the new one will take it a lot easier. This is a 5mm carbide end mill. Oh. A little bit of a crunch then. Just easing it in slowly. Back it out again already. From here on in, I take the process of removing this broken screw very easily. Uh, I wondered whether the mill had hit a hard piece, possibly a piece of broken easy out or something like that that the previous owner had used to try and get these screws out. Uh, it was unusual for it to uh, break the end mill like it did. I don't think I was putting undue pressure on it. Uh, it, or it could have just been that part of the uh, thread had started to uncoil from the uh, from the hole and uh, it jammed the milling cutter. Because the camera's mounted on the table of the mill, you can't really tell whether the table's moving up and down or the quill's moving up and down. A bit of both's happening here. I've got the uh, quill jogging up and down a little bit when I want to remove it well clear of the hole, or I'm just uh, winding the table up and down a fraction when I'm entering the hole with the cutter. So. Uh, it's um, it works quite well the two in working in conjunction. Surprising what feel you get through sound and on the knee. It's just touching again there. A few more chips making their way to the top. I think I'll just take it very easy after the uh, broken end mill saga. I'll count this time. One, two, We're only in about seven millimeters so far. Nice and slow. We'll get the job done. It's 
that's one. Two. Cardigan there. I'm pretty happy with the lineup, the uh, measurements and the whole. One, two, three, cutting again. In there about 10 millimeters at the moment. One, two, three. Squirrels came out that time. Go one more and then we'll take it right out for a better look. One, two, three, four, about four and a half. I was up to there. Cutting again now. So that's 12 and a half millimetres deep there at the moment. I'm going to come right out and move it out of the way. Take a look. I've withdrawn the tool from the hole and then I've jogged away from the hole in the minus X direction. I can always return with a uh, go to z x equals zero type of uh, instruction to get back there if I need to. That would follow about 12 and a half millimetres, still something. I thought there was something down there, I think it just pushed right through. Yes, I think we're done. So, quite a saga. My setup was pretty good. The threads didn't need heli coils. The damaged one, I tapped it deeper, used some longer screws. That's the uh, chain tensioner uh, in place with a new uh, gasket, and uh, it's all good to go. There's the thread coming through a bit further.